Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to make a video today talking about Premier League Player of the Month that is going to be coming out here in the next couple of days in FIFA Ultimate Team. Talking about how we could possibly invest for this and how this SBC is going to look because we're going to be inside of the Team of the Year promotion. Now this happened last year where we had a big time Player of the Month player, Van Dyke. Um, that SBC came out during Team of the Year, and a lot of people ended up doing that SBC because of the upgrade packs that were out. With the League upgrade packs, you could actually kind of craft your way there uh, in a sense. So I'm going to talk about that this year. Look at the SBCs, how you might be able to invest for it, of course, um, accordingly during the time period of Team of the Year when this SBC would come out. But at the moment, these are the competitors that we have for this uh, months vote. This is the month of December. We have Trent Alexander Arnold, um, Buendia from Norwich, Kevin De Bruyne, Calvert Lewin, Ben Foster, Danny Ings, Jamie Vardy, and Adama Traore. So those are all of our options that we could vote for um, at the moment. And I kind of want to go through and look at their stats. The first thing I want to notice is a lot of time we use Footbin, right? A lot of times we use Footbin to kind of look and see and get an idea for their stats because Footbin has this nice graphic that lays it out. But what I'm seeing here is I don't think we can completely rely on this graphic from Footbin because if you look into the statistics that uh, the EA website shows, which is this is where you vote for Player of the Month voting. It's actually open at, at right now. You can vote on it at the moment. But these stats are different, right? It shows Jamie Vardy is having two goals, no assists. But if we go back over here and look for Vardy, he has got five games and four goals. So I'm not entirely sure what they're counting is like what games are counting and what games are not counting inside of this but i think that using these statistics on ea's website is going to be one of the most important because uh that's where the voting is off of and that's what people are going to see and i'm guessing these are the statistics that the committee that also votes on this award because uh, the fan vote for this is only about 20 percent, so that's why we look at the um you know who's more likely to win based on the statistics and how the um, committee usually ends up voting for this. Adama Traore is another option. Two goals, one assist. A lot of hype this month. Danny Ings, five goals uh, and no assist, but five goals and his team did pretty well. The only thing that I like this page for is you can see their form. So Southampton with four wins, one draw and two losses. I think Danny Ings is up there as a possibility to win this one. Five goals. He's one of the most high scorers. Um, ben Foster with 20 saves. That's actually a really decent amount of saves. If we don't see goalkeepers win very often, but that's possible. And then I think the person that has the highest chance to win is Kevin De Bruyne. He's got three goals, three assists in the games this month. Uh, and their team did pretty well. Five wins, two losses. So not perfect, but um, according to these EA stats, three goals and three assists, which I do think might put him ahead just enough to win player of the month. Uh, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, though, has a shout as well with five goals scored. So this player of the month seems like it could be an easy one, I guess, with KDB as kind of like the front runner who everybody, I think a lot of people want KDB to win. But um, I don't know too much about Trent. Three assists, one goals, uh, or one goal, nine tackles, 76% pass accuracy. So this one's a little bit harder to read in terms of um, looking through all of these players and figuring out which one could be there. I really think it's going to be De Bruyne. I think that possibly it could be Danny Ings, it could be Calvert Lewin, or it could be Trent Alexander Arnold. I, it's really, it's really a crapshoot to be honest. But I think KDB is going to be the one who ultimately pulls it out in the end. Not that City played really great this month because I don't think they they played fantastic, but I do think that KDB would have an edge with all of his all round statistics. He just played fantastic this month. Um, so I do think that KDB would have the edge on most of these guys, but I wouldn't be surprised if Trent Calvert-Lewin or Danny Ings took the, took the trophy home for Premier League Player of the Month. But with KDB and uh, KDB being the one in mind that we do think could win, I do want to look at some of the possible investments for that. Let's look up uh, Kevin De Bruyne's card right now to see what that Player of the Month option card would be. I'm guessing it would be a 95 center attacking mid Premier League Player of the Month card. So obviously that card would come out. He's probably going to get in the team this season. I do think it's possible he gets in. Maybe, maybe not. But if the Player of the Month do, does come out and it's the highest rated card of KDB, I do think you'll see a lot of people want to go do that card. And it could mess with the price of his other special cards. And if he does get a Team of the Year, this Player of the Month would be very, very interesting. We kind of had that scenario last year. We had the Van Dyke SBC out. 
during team of the year. This SVC right here for the 92 Van Dyke was out during team of the year and Van Dyke actually had himself a team of the year item. So a lot of people were deciding, do I go to the player of the month? Do I craft it through upgrades or do I shell out the coins and try to get the big boy team of the year so obviously that the team of the year cards are very hard to get so there's a lot of people that ended up doing this 92 van dyke and they rocked him like almost until the end of the game so uh we'll definitely talk about this but i do think de bruyne's player of the month would be 95 rated for sure uh he's already above 80 pace so that looks fantastic i mean this card looks phenomenal it would be an end game card in my opinion if you're a kdb fan manchester city fan or just need a premier league cam in your squad and i think this sbc would be phenomenal it's probably going to cost somewhere around the range of like you know eight hundred thousand coins i would think maybe it's closer 750 to 900k would be kind of the range i would expect it to be in i think you can actually make it you could probably see it being really close in value to this um sadio mane sbc that is currently in the game which requires five different squads uh, and you know, comparing, if you look at last year's player of the month, Van Dyke, which came out at this time, a lot more of the squads were related around premier league games. Obviously like look at the, the descriptions here, exchange a squad of players featuring Van Dyke's home country, exchange a squad of players featuring Van Dyke's current league, exchange a quad, squad of players featuring Van Dyke's current club. This year's player of the month SBCs, we just have exchange a quad featuring, exchange a squad featuring Liverpool players and then Premier League players, and then just random squads. Like, it feels like they're not putting as much effort or uh, you're, they're not really mixing things up for these Player of the Month. They're just requiring high-rated cards. So it's making the... It's kind of smart on EA's part that it's making some of the Premier League and some of the team-specific investments that we often invest for for these SBCs, it's making them go up a little bit less on the market because they're just requiring more of high-rated players and less of specific investments or what they would call pinch points on the market so again if kdb is the one who you do think is going to win now if you have some personal um, feelings that somebody else is going to win player of the month for this next month of or uh, for december but the sbc coming out during team of the year maybe you could adjust your investing accordingly but since kdb is going to be winning i do have a few options in mind of players that i would be very interested in investing in based on just their sbc value and you know obviously we're going to be looking at manchester city cards Ilkay Gundogan is inflated in price right now. I do think these cards are going to get lower during Team of the Year Lightning Rounds and all the packs that are going to be open during Team of the Year. And this is a big thing that we're going to be looking at on the channel um, during Team of the Year is when's the best time to buy these cards and invest. I would not buy these right now. Like if, if you're watching this video and Gundogan is still 6,400 coins, I would not be a fan of buying that card there. But of course, you're going to look at the Manchester City cards you know, Manchester City informs. There's an Otamendi inform that I would be uh, in, interested in investing in for a KDB SBC. Um, KDB's gold card, this would be a possibility where I do think they could require the gold card, but they just, they haven't do, done that as much as they have in the past because I just think they know that it requires, or that it allows people to make a lot of coins. And again, that's a really specific pinch point on the market and of course kdb's gold card would be out of packs if he wasn't team of the year so that's even less supply for that card if they were if they were to require it in the sbc but if you see gundawan like right now he's 6400 coins 6200 which is really on the high end if you see this guy dip back down around 4k uh like 4,000 coins for this gundawan card even like 42 4300 coins anything under 4500 i think would be fantastic for a card like this again we're going to focus on some of the higher rated um, cards in the Prem and higher rated cards from Manchester City to invest for this. Fernandinho, like 20,000 coins. He was just 20K a couple days ago. He's up a little bit now. I think people are doing base icon SBCs right now when I'm recording this video because they're they're bored or there's nothing else to do on FIFA. So they're just putting some coins into uh, base icon upgrades at the moment or trying to invest for team of the year SBCs. But uh, I do think there's going to be an opportunity to pick up some of these cards during the lightning rounds of team of the year, usually the first day of team of the year, they don't put out an SBC or most times they don't um, like a player SBC or moments or whatever. Um, now it looks like we might be getting uh, one SBC every day because there's supposedly seven SBCs coming like four flashbacks and three player moments. So if we do get an SBC first day, then obviously that's a risk that we, we run. But this Otamendi card at 20,000 coins, I think is a really nice shout. Maybe you can try to pick a couple up on bid like 19K, but there's really not a lot of people talking about this right now. And if there are some Premier League informs required, 
that would be a great investment for a KDB player of the month. And then, of course, just other high-rated players. Again, if you're going to invest at all, I would focus on the Premier League cards. Premier League high-rated, 84s, 85s, 86s, 87s, and 88s. Yoris would be a decent one in goal. He links to a lot of guys. Um, Fernandinho would be a really good shout. I think a lot of people would look to invest in that card right away. Um, Bernardo Silva could be a really, really good one, especially if any of those formations require a right mid or a right wing card. Uh, him being that position on the outside wing could be huge uh, for chemistry purposes, depending on how much chemistry they require for those SBCs uh, that are inside of the Player of the Month SBC. So actually, let's take a look and see this Saudi Omani's Player of the Month SBC. How much chem are they requiring for a lot of these SBCs? It might actually just be easier to look on the game. So we're going to go over here and look in the game at Mane's SBC. I'm using Mane, Mane's SBC as an example because we, this is just kind of uh, how they're doing it this year. They tend to do these SBCs different every year, I think. And this year, a lot of the SBCs have been like this, just kind of, you know, not as specific like we looked at before with the, the um, description underneath each SBC. Uh, but it looks like 70 chem, 65, 60, 65, and 55. And how many of these formations were required like an outside wing player, like a right wing or a left wing? Boom. First one we have here, Liverpool players won, Team of the Week players won, 85 overall rating and 70 chem. So a guy like Bernardo Silva would be perfect for a squad like this. Even though it is 85 rated, this one's an 86 rated squad. Bernardo would be perfect for this. Boom. Right wing situation in that one as well. So Bernardo looks like a decent option because he's from Man City. And he's got that different positioning. But again, if we're looking at some of the some of the players to look at, cheapest players by rating, of course, we're going to look at good um, links to other um, Premier League players. Even if it's just like, even Thiago Silva might be a decent buy because if you're going to put Ederson in your team, he's Brazilian. That would link Brazilian and Fernandinho together. Or that would link Ederson and Fernandinho together. So those could be two possible pretty good links for some gold cards. And then let's take a look at some more specific informs um for that you can invest in for a kdb because i'm thinking that this sbc would probably require a bunch i mean i'm thinking either five or six squads again kind of like Mane, and you're probably seeing some 86 87s maybe maybe an 88 squad requirement that would be the most that i would think that i would see so again for the informs if there's like an 87 or an 88 rated squad i wouldn't buy any inform that's over 86 because a lot of people will use a lower rated inform and more high rated golds because it's cheaper that way most of the time. But uh, some informs you could look at, you know, Belgium, of course. We haven't mentioned the nationality much at all, but this company center back inform, 85 rated. Uh, it's one of the cheapest center back informs uh, in the game at the moment. And it's one of the cheapest 85s. And it is Belgian. So this card, if you can snag him on bid, looks like he's risen a little bit out of packs, but maybe stock one in your club, put a couple in your transfer list for around 16 or 17K, maybe 15K if you absolutely can maybe on a bid or something, that might be a good inform to look at. And then again, uh, focus on the Premier League guys. A lot of the guys that are in this week's Team of the Week, actually, let's take a look at this. Uh, Team of the Week 16 is full of Premier League players. Now, these cards are going to get packed a bunch during the first couple days of uh, Team of the Year, and that's going to be unfortunate for their supply. Obviously, Doherty at discard and I use Perez at, at kind of close to discard and Maguire as well would be great SBC fodder investments. Uh, maybe on like a Tuesday of team of the year, the second day of all the lightning rounds being opened. If you can get these guys for like 12K, Doherty for discard and then Maguire and Ayos Perez for about 12K, I would be okay with those investments um, for a Premier League player of the month, just as an inform. Uh, but then again, maybe if you're really, look, really looking to invest in some informs, you try to find some Premier League guys like Tarkowski. Tarkowski is not a bad shot because he is out of packs. He's 14K for an 84 rated inform. Maybe you can snag a couple of these on bid for like, you know, 12. Looks like he was 12K earlier on Friday. Uh, so maybe you can snag him for like 12,000 coins um, and on bid or something like that, which is almost discard. And those would be the type of deals that I would be looking towards and looking into now the last thing i want to talk about is when is this sbc going to come out so right now sadio mane has five days remaining so that means that he is going to come out on friday if they if they put the kdb sbc out right after mane expires then the kdb sbc should come out on friday of team of the year so that would be monday the 6th 
that Friday afterwards, which when the full team of the team of the year would be in packs at that point, that is when I would expect a KDB or whoever's going to win this player of the month, that SBC would come out on that date. So what is that Friday? Maybe the, I don't know, Monday the 6th. So Friday would be the 10th or the 11th, maybe. Uh, let me just look at a calendar and get that exactly up for you guys because I'm not good with dates sometimes. The 10th, it, it would be the 10th. See, I had my initial my initial math correct. It would be the 10th on the Friday is when I would think we would see the Premier League Player of the Month December SBC coming out in this game. And again, if we have upgrade packs during that time frame, it's going to be something that I think a lot of people are interested in, right? Exactly like we talked about with that uh, VVD SBC last year. A lot of people went and did that SBC because it was cheaper than his team of the year card, a lot cheaper. Uh, that VVD SBC was around 500 to 600K and uh, they could get some packs back and they could grind and do upgrade packs to pack high rated cards from the Prem to work towards that SBC. So that's the only thing with uh, this SBC coming out that could be could hurt your investments a little bit. Like if you buy some Gundawans, uh, this is going to be the type of guy that a decent amount of people are going to be packing from like an 81 plus or a Premier League upgrade SBC uh, that could hurt his rise a little bit. But I still think you would see a rise in these cards because not everybody packs them. You know, you, you do have some packs, you get some cards, then you go buy the rest of them to finish the SBC and do that. That's kind of how it works most of the time. So uh, I still do think stocking your club or, or putting some on your transfer list of some of these Prem informs. Manchester City guys, especially high rated 84 to 88s, are going to be um, a really good shout for the KDB Player of the Month SBC. And it should be a good one. Of course, it's going to be interesting if he gets into Team of the Year and stuff like that. Now, if somebody like, if somebody else wins, going back to the nominees really quick, of course, if like Trent Alexander Arnold comes out and wins, and then the Liverpool players are pretty cheap. Um, at that time frame, for whatever reason, maybe you go out and you try to you try to get on some of these guys, some of the Liverpool players, um, or maybe if Adama Traore somehow wins or Danny Ings, you know, maybe you invest accordingly to that. But if Ings comes out, I would expect that to be a really cheap SBC. If Adama Traore comes out, I don't think it would be that cheap. But again, Premier League investments is like the main thing here, just buying some Premier League high rateds. And I would not wait for this SBC to come out on Friday to invest. I would be looking, and we're going to look at this a lot here on the YouTube channel. We're going to be looking for the absolute cheapest time to buy some of these high rated golds because there's going to be a point during this team of the year promo where these cards get low because whatever reason they drop an SBC or they drop some packs that uh, overpower whatever demand there is for an SBC that comes out. Um, then we're going to be looking at trying to pick up some of these 86s around like 13 or 14k, 85s around 7 to 8k, 84s at 4,000 coins flat or below for some of the prem guys, 87s at 20k, 88s at like 25, 26, and then 89s at like lower 30s. We're definitely going to be looking at picking up some of these cards and at some point during team of the year. We're not entirely sure yet because right now they're still kind of inflated, but those are kind of the buy prices for some of those high rated gold cards. Um, and again, I would not invest in this SBC just yet. I'm putting this video out early, putting this video out ahead of time just to get you guys prepared for this because it is important information. I want you guys to be in the know, in the knowledge and prepared for when this SBC comes out. And especially for when this upcoming week of team of the week or team of the year, there's a lot of stuff going on. You can kind of put this in the back of your mind and say, Hey, this could be a little bit of an opportunity to make coins, uh, or to just get ready to do this SBC if that's something that you would want to do. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel. If you are new, it's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.